Hello people, Yolanda here. Um, I'm gonna review the Mojan uh, M600S acrylic celluloid fountain pen by Erofa. Uh, e R O F A. <laughs> A lot of strange words here. This is it. <clears throat> It's blue, kind of speckled, and um, I ordered this oh before Christmas. I'm not exactly sure what date, but it was before Christmas, like the 18th or something like that matters. And it came on my birthday, which was nice, which is January. So, um, like I said, it was it was just serendipitous if that's the right word um so that was pretty neat okay anyway it is a screw cap if i can unscrew it there you go it's a screw cap medium steel nib uh, okay length uh capped is 139 millimeters uncapped is 127 I should have measured it for um, 127 millimeters uh, should have measured it for uh, what you call it for you know being uh, posted but uh, I will see what I can do about doing that and maybe putting it in the description and I'm sorry but it just seems like this is taking me along this um, it's hard for me to keep this in frame but uh, we'll, we'll do what we can it weighs um, 28.5 grams and the diameter around is 13 millimeters um, it comes with an ink converter. Ink cartridge converter. And what I've got in here is that Diantramentis Blue Columbia Copper or Columbia Blue Copper um, ink. Uh, let's see here. And it comes in a little velvet pouch which I don't have here either um but you guys know if you've been buying these pens with like the velvet pouch that they come in um it was $29.15 on Amazon you know approximately $30 and uh I will do a uh, what you call it a writing sample um, and see how it writes what I remember when I got this because this is February now and um, when I got this it took a minute to write um, you know somebody suggested that it's the way I fill it but I'm trying not to make a mess and to fill it you know putting it in the tip in to the ink you know nib into the ink and trying to fill it that way um you gotta wipe the the nib off and um not like when i fill it nine times out of ten i get ink all over my hands um so i i don't like that i use a syringe to fill and um i had to dip this in water to get the ink to flow but um other than you know not being able to flow right out the box um we will see i will show you in it in a uh writing sample how nice it is so see you in a minute hello okay back again 
And this is the Mojon M600S Acrylic Celluloid Fountain Pen. And we're going to do our writing sample. So, unscrew it. Okay. Uh, I came up with another, or found another... Um little saying off uh I think there's something underneath this. Hmm, I don't know. Felt like something was underneath it. Um I guess I could have put this down a little bit further. But, um, yeah, Jive Fox Nymph grabs a quick waltz. Um, I guess it, it, it writes fine. I like it. Um, I, I just love medium nibs. I, I find them very satisfying. So, um, you know, I don't find any scratching. Um, I guess there's a little feathering, but that's because I'm using regular paper. If I had some tome away or, um, you know, other high quality fountain pen paper, I probably wouldn't get this feathering. Um, okay, yeah, there's bleed through and show through. But that's the ink, you know, more than anything. And, uh, yeah. Um, uh, what, $30 from Amazon? I guess. It wouldn't, you know, I think it starts out at 25 And by the time they add on the taxes, it came up to that 29 yeah, it was twenty seven fifty before taxes, and then it came up to twenty nine fifteen. Um, being that is, you know, a quote unquote Chinese pen, I probably like you know I would get it. I mean, I got it. You know, the price didn't um made me think for a minute. But, uh, price made me think for a minute, but I ended up getting it. It would have been nice if it was cheaper. Um, but it's a nice pen. It's not too heavy. Um, I'm just having a good time with it. So let me think, let me know what you think. And, um, I'll get back to you in the next video. Bye.